What's up, Instagram day six of the 30 day accountability challenge. Okay, guys, so now I'm gonna ask you a question and that is um, on email, if you signed up at beastmodesoccer.com forward slash IDP for the challenge, you should have today, yeah, this morning, received an email with our game analysis sheet in it, which kind of looks like this. Um, you may have printed it out. I use an iPad for everything because I'll show you today that you can write on it and everything. It's pretty cool. Okay, so what I'm going to do today is really quickly go through that game analysis sheet for you. And then we're going to grab some people um, to jump in and tell us what we've been doing. Hang on. Should you try to get in a caloric surplus to gain muscle though you may i mean you should always speak to a nutritionist but yeah the only way to lose weight is a caloric deficit and the only way to gain weight is uh to eat more calories than what you're burning clean calories if you want to burn if you want to add muscle right so your proteins are vegan so you won't probably eat what i eat Okay, uh, just one today, Tristan Peloton. Uh, it was a good one. It was a hit workout with arms. So you do weights as well as the Peloton. So guys, give me a thumbs up if you got that in your email today. Um, if you didn't get it, uh, check your spam folder because uh, it's definitely got sent out today because I woke up really early and I did this actually before my workout. Awesome, looks like everybody got it. That's fantastic. Um, the cool thing about this is I got a bunch of emails yesterday saying that people are missing the, uh, the live, right? But they are getting on the YouTube every day because after this I download it and I, uh, I actually screen grab it because it's too long to download. And uh, and then I uh, I put it up on YouTube. I have to spruce it up and make it look good. So, guys, today you can tell you can tell at, at Beast Mode Soccer we're kind of obsessed with dogs, right? So this is this is Dexy. Um, Dexy lives in Houston. Um, and, she's a hot dog. And, and she's a street dog. Um, so what happened with with Dexy and Reg? Dexie and Mewis were doing a, what's Dexy. it called, an appearance? Dexie and Mewis. Mewis. Dexie and Mewis. No, sorry, Rachel and Mewis were, uh, were doing, uh, they were doing an appearance for the Houston Dash and this street dog just like wandered up to them. And the next thing is I'm getting a text going, look, this street dog has just come up to us. What should we do? And I'm like, it's a sign. You have to keep Dexie. Um, Rachel, what are you doing? What are you behaving? What's going on? I'm actually... Okay, bye. Bye. Thanks for jumping in. I don't think she's ready to go. She's an angel. Okay, so that was Rach just dropping in. Um, and yeah, I, I agree that Rach and Muris and Dexy need to... Uh, they need to do a few more TikToks because they are hilarious. So guys, what I'm gonna do is talk you through the analysis sheet, right? So really, I've made this as simple as we possibly can, right? So the first sheet, you know it's the game analysis one because it says game analysis on the top. And all we want you to do is what formations were used by both teams, what style of play did both teams utilize? How did the player that plays your possession impact the game? What player or moment was the game changer and the final score and who scored the goals, 
right? That's your game analysis sheet. And then we get into a little bit more detail on the next page. I quite enjoyed making this one. So the first graphic there is the graphic that everybody asks me for. So when I'm um, writing out sessions for, for like especially for Alex, Rach and uh, Mal, it's because they're very uh, attacking based, right? So what we came up with is our own zones, right? So we have zone one, which is in the six yard box, zone three, which is from the six to the 18, zone two is on the outside, zone four is here. Most of your goals are scored in zone three. That is a statistical fact, right? So with that, when the team score the goals, I want you to write whereabouts they were scored from here. So you can just do a little circle and where they went. And then on the bottom one, I want you to write exactly where in the goal that the shot went as well. Okay. And again, guys, I've, I've mentioned this probably 200 times in the last four days, right? Then it is... If you build this habit up, you're going to start noticing trends with goals, right? And the trend is usually goals are scored in zone three, right? It's like something like 67% of goals are scored there. So especially with, with Alex and Rach, we do a lot of that work there. With Mal, we usually do four and two because Mal tends to cut in from wide. Hello from Palm Beach. I hope you're not going on the beach stay indoors and what you're going to see with the goal one is that most goals are scores around these areas right and they you know very rarely do they fly into the uh the top corner then the next page on that is the player analysis sheet right um so we've got our player analysis sheet. Jordan, why are you always talking bad on my beanie? I told you, I've got quarantine hair. Like, look, it's long. God, so, such a cyber bully, Jordan Nistro. Um, So we go into your player analysis, right? So you go at the top, you're going to write the player analyze. What were the player's strengths and weaknesses? How did this player impact the game? What did the player do that you can utilize in your game, right? Make a list of things you can learn from watching this player, their preferred foot, and what would you rate this player? That is out of 10, what would you rate them? I laughed then because Shay's just asked where her shirt is, so I promised Shay that I'd get her a shirt. And she actually gave me the shirt to print on because we've got a bunch of these to put on it. But it was like three days before quarantine and they're now in my office. So, sorry. Um, so, guys, what we're going to do now is if you want to share what you've been doing yesterday and today, go ahead and request. Um, and then we'll, uh, we'll get you in and we can, uh, we'll have a chat about it all, what you've been doing. Um, yeah. So that'll be fun. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. Uh, you know, I kind of want to cut my own hair just to see what happens. But then I feel like Geordie would like bully me more. Hey, how you doing? Good, how are you? Como te llamas? What's your name? Uh, Kayla. Kayla? Where are you, Kayla? Simi Valley. You were just up the street. Well, not up the street. Quite far up the street. Simi Valley, whereabouts? Simi, like, like right off Sycamore. I used to coach at Oak Park High School, which isn't quite Simi Valley, mm -mm. right? But it's close to Simi Valley. Uh, what club do you play for? Uh, Real. Okay, awesome. Awesome. And how old are you? 14. 14. Okay, so tell me. What do you want to do? Do you want to do your daily routine or do you want to do your game analysis or do you want to do your player analysis? Uh, either one. I don't really think you can choose. So well, let's do it all. Okay. So for the player, for the game analysis, I watched the USA and Japan final for the 2012 Olympics. Oh, okay. Yeah. Good one. 
And then, do you want me to just show you what the zone, the yeah. picture look like? Okay. Yeah. So this was... Oh, look at this. Shots. This is perfect. And then those are their shots. And Wow, that is awesome. And then this is the other one. Wow, that is dope. Well done. Thank you. And then... That's exactly what I wanted you to do with it. I'm eating an orange. <laughs> And then um, they both played a 4-4-2, USA and Japan. And in the beginning, USA was playing like a really high press game, but Japan was kind of just letting them do that. But they would capitalize on their, on their counterattacks a lot, and that's how the U.S. would get scored on. And then um, I was watching Shannon Box and Carly Lloyd because I play like a, like a holding midfield position. And um, Shannon Box was really, really good, like physically, and she was kind of behind Carly, so they were kind of playing side by side. And they both communicated well, but I feel like they could have, they were like really reckless on their challenges, like they would just foul right out, right out of the blue for no reason. And then um, they both had really good decision making. And the game changer was that I thought was Carly Lloyd because she played really well and played really good weighted through balls, which gave them most, which gave Alex most of their chances. And then the final score was two to one, and Carly scored both, and then Yuki Ogimi scored the goal in Japan. Okay, that's really good. Um, so, who was the game changer? Carly Lloyd. What did she do apart from score? Well, she just, like, she held the midfield together a lot because whenever they, whenever Japan would counter, she'd always be there and drop back and make sure that they they had help in the back line. Awesome. Awesome. And what would you take from Carly's game or Foxy's game? Well, I have... Um, put it into yours. I have trouble, like, being aware of my surroundings, so I would just to check my shoulders and make sure I'm looking up and... Maybe not play such a short game. Maybe try and play long balls or play more like detailed through balls. You know what I used to do with players is with, with awareness stuff for that. I used to th throw tennis balls at them, right? So we'd be like, not that sounded bad, not savagely trying to hurt them, but I'd throw a tennis ball just to make sure they're staying aware mm -hmm. so they have to, uh, they knew it was coming, so they just always have to be aware, right? Yeah. Um, that was really good. Talk us through your day right now. Um, well, usually I wake, like on a school day, I wake up at 7 o'clock, and I just got your app, so I've been using that. Well done. Then, um, I usually do school from 8.30 to 10.30, and then I have our lunch break, and then I have two more hours of school. And then um, between that 7 and 8 o'clock time, I usually do a session, and then I go back. And after school, I would usually roll out. And then I'll probably go on a run or do a bodyweight workout afterwards. How has your adjustment been? Has it been good? Um, it's been okay because I had just joined Real and then the whole DA thing happened, but it's not really affecting anybody because nothing's really happening anymore right now. Yeah. So it's just, it's kind of good because I just joined the team so I can get myself ready for when season starts back up again. Uh, who did you join from? Uh, it's a small club in Simi called Ventura County United. Okay, BC United. Well, congratulations for joining thank Real. You. Uh, thank you for joining me. Thank Keep you for tagging me. Okay. And today's challenge is pretty cool, but you'll find out what it is. Thank you okay. so much. I appreciate thank you. you. Thank you. Okay, so how detailed was that? That was awesome from Kayla, right? Um, so we're going to do... Uh, la, 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 la. What should we do? One more or two more? Let's see how many people have requested. Okay. I'm just going to finish my orange. Hey, Hi. how are you doing? I'm good. How are you? So you, the only reason I picked you is because it said savage. That's um, my last name. Is it really? Yeah. What? Bro do you like, do you, I, I'm sure you hear those all the time. Do you know the Savage Dance? No. Good, don't do it. Don't go on TikTok. You'll know what the Savage okay. Dance is. Um, what's your name? Malia. Malia, how you doing? Good, how are you? I'm, uh, I'm all right. I'm all right. Thanks for asking. Where are you? I'm in Portland, Oregon. 
Portland, Oregon. So you're a, are you a Thorns fan? Yes. Yeah? Yeah. Who's your favorite player on the Thorns? Mm, I really like Lindsey Horan. Right, I told you guys yesterday, Lindsey Horan, one of the best players in the world. She's so good. Yeah. And she's got a cute dog. Yes, yeah, she does. He's so, so cute. What a winner that, that young woman is. Brilliant yeah. at soccer and a cute dog. Mm -hmm. um, okay, Malia, um, talk me through, what do you want to do? Analysis, player analysis, game analysis, day analysis, um, drill analysis, it's up to you. Could I do the player analysis? Of course. So I did Zarek Valentin, who plays for Houston Dynamo now. Okay, well he was at the thought uh, uh, then, money. He, yeah, he was with the Timbers. What are they called? I don't, you know, I don't really follow teams that don't win. What are they called? <laughs> they had a huge winning streak. <laughs> you sound like an Arsenal fan. Oh, we were really, we were unbeaten in 2004. So now he's joined a team that he thinks he can win with. Okay. Um, For the strengths, I put he has a really positive and persistent mindset. Um, he's able, he has really, he has fitness to play the all, 20, all 90 minutes. Um, he has really strong passes and he's really good at using his body and stepping in between the player and the ball and winning the ball like that. Um, one of the fitness weaknesses I put was he's not that fast, so that can be a struggle sometimes. So, that was one of the weaknesses I found. And then his preferred foot, I think, would be his right foot. And something that I learned from him is I struggle with using my body a lot of the times. Like, I struggle yeah. with being aggressive. That's something I'm working on right now. So I watch him a lot because I like to watch the ways that he uses his body to step in because that helps me a lot. So... That's really good. Um, you say you say like aggressive. Like, do you mean like you just don't go smashing into people? Or yeah, yeah. I struggle yeah. with um, like on a one on one. Sometimes I'm not as aggressive as I should be, and I don't use my body as much. And I'm really trying to work on that right now. So. Okay, so you're one v one going at someone. Yeah. Yeah, or so, going against them. It just kind of depends. Okay, so this is the thing with your 1v1s, right? Is that every time you have the ball, no matter what position you are, it's a 1v1, right? So focus, focus less on the aggression, right, and more on the control, because it's a controlled aggression anyway, right? Yeah. And I said a couple of days ago, they're all merging into one, that two things to be a good soccer player – spatial awareness and spatial exploitation right mm -hmm. first one is hyper important because yeah. that's the space of with your 1v1 the first thing you think is where do i want to go yes right mm -hmm. number two how am i going to get there that's the spatial exploitation and number three is to exploit and explode away right yeah. And once you get that down, and, and I, I hammer players to pick like one, two, or three 1v1 one one moves to master, right? Because mm -hmm. once you've mastered it, your aggression comes out. Yeah. Right? And it's not really aggression. It's confidence. Yeah. Right? And this is why I love, I love players like Rose Lavelle, because you see Rose get the ball. And this is what I love about Rose as well. She doesn't fit the mold, right? She isn't this like ripped big tall player rose is you know sh she's not weak at all she's strong but she's smaller right she's not big she's not um like real muscly but she gets that ball and she's got utter confidence when she's driving at them and if you're struggling with your 1v1s that's the player to watch right players like rose and mal pure as well who get the ball and they just they're not scared to go yeah. with it right so that's that's players you want to watch and again Lindsay, right because what i love about Lindsay is that she sees space that a lot of people miss 
Yeah. Right? So she'll be able to slot people in when other people didn't see the pass. Um, that was really good, by Thank the way. You've you got to come back and do some more. Okay. Did you get the email? Yes. Okay, cool. Cool. Print, print those out and do it. Because the more detail we get with it, the better you become. Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah. Okay. Malia, you are fantastic. Thank you. Thank you for coming on. I appreciate it. <laughs> Thank you for having me. You're welcome. Bye. Okay, guys. So that's the type of detail. Like, I'm kind of blown away that you're all not just saying, not just talking that you're going to do it. You're actually doing it. Right? And that, that is absolutely huge. Um, so I'm going to pick one more. If you don't get picked today, don't worry about it. We've got 24 more days. I promise I will, um, I'll get to you at some stage, I'm sure. Okay. We're going to do one more and then we'll, we'll pick. Um, you got lucky with the first one. Maybe I did, yeah. Maybe I got lucky. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. But every day we're building on it, right? So after the 30 days, hey, what's up? Hi, the ceiling. See? That's a lovely ceiling. Thanks for Thank sharing you. it. <laughs> what's your name? So what are you going to talk about? Um, I have my game analysis. Actually, I have three. I don't know which one I should do. Um, the best game, the, the, the one that you thought was the best game. Okay, um, I'll do this one. I chose the North Carolina versus Sky Blue game on Saturday, September 7th of 2019. Um, their formation... You picked, you picked North... Sky Blue last season. That is brave. Very brave. Where are you? New Hampshire. Okay, okay. So kind of close-ish. Um, yeah, t totally. I for the courage, their formation was a four-two-two-two, and the person in my position was Crystal Dunn. What she did good was her head was up. She had controlled first touches, and she was always going at the ball and trying to get it. And she had smartly put placed runs into open space so she could come and receive the ball. And then she was finding open players to pass to at the top of the field. And she kept exploring to space when she had the ball to try and get around defenders. What, what I thought what she you, could do what you really better. Like about Donny? I liked how she was always like closing in on the people and being aggressive and not being afraid of getting hurt. Um, you were about to explain her weaknesses, but I jumped all over you. I apologize. I'm good at it, though. It's fine. I keep jumping on people. <laughs> what I thought she could do better was her accuracy of the pass, because it kind of, like, went over their heads or went to the wrong team. And I thought she could stay in position. She went to the right quite a lot, even though she was playing on the left side. And she sometimes placed offsides. So, like, she threw, put the ball into, like, Jessica McDonald, who was offside. Um, no, we, we lost you. And what I could so, let, let me ask you a question really quick. Um, you said offsides, right? Oh, we might. I've lost her. You back? Can you hear me? Say something. Does anybody else hear us? Uh oh, we've got te we've got technical difficulties. Who froze here? Did I freeze? Hang on. Okay, what about now? Are we are we all frozen? But I'm not frozen? So confused right now. Okay. So we will <laughs> we will 
we will uh, we'll reach back out tomorrow to to <laughs> hey, you hear me Woo. all right let's we'll, we'll we'll try to get her back we'll try to get her back hang on he's smooth Hey. Hi. So, Donny. Um, what I could learn from her is finding ways to get around defenders because I like kind of barreling through them and getting fouled. Um, and getting on point passes like close ranged because usually when I'm passing with my left foot, it goes askew like i broke a window recently trying to pass it to the wall instead it broke a window okay okay i have broken windows in the past it's okay um you know the, the thing with, with crystal is uh, resilience as well like Danny got cut uh before what was it the, was it the last 2015 yeah and again like with Danny, it's like a lot of players would have taken that and just be like, oh, okay, I got cut. But Dunny like got mad about it and like just worked. And she almost like, I want to say like doubled her production rate in games. And she got so good that they couldn't ignore her, which is fantastic. And she's evolved as a player, Crystal has. Like she's, she's come on really well. Justin, thank you very much. I appreciate you. Keep working hard. Okay, guys, so what we didn't get into today was the tiny uh, technical thing that you want to work on. So we're going to talk about that tomorrow, okay? Um, and we will we'll make sure uh, to, to, <laughs> to get everybody in tomorrow. So, guys, tomorrow's or today, whenever you want to do it, um, not really a challenge. Right, but when I pick you tomorrow, I want you to walk through the entire session that you've built out, and I want you to explain the reason for each drill that you're doing, okay? Because I've told you so many times that you train to improve. We don't train to train, okay? We don't go outside and just doing drills. We are trying to improve. We're trying to get better every single day, so we are... Basically, you know, you're going out there, you know exactly what you're doing. So tomorrow's challenge, if I pick you, is to talk through your entire session that you did that day. And I want the reason why you're doing it. Okay? So we've got to have a reason for every little drill that we do. Um, and I want you to continue doing player breakdowns and game analysis is this is this is this is this is this is that is not a technical that is not nothing's gone wrong that was me okay so i want you to hi sir i want you to do technical breakdown of a player game analysis tennis ball juggling still um working on that small little bit of technical that you need to work on and then i'm gonna pick on some people tomorrow to go through their entire session that they did that day and tell me why. And we'll have them talk about um, their analysis as, 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 as well. So guys, make sure you check your email, make sure you print out that form. Um, and we're gonna get some, so we're gonna get some guests on um, this week, right, we had Rach jump in today. Yes, you still record your tennis ball juggling. Uh, Pele was not the best. Garincia was better than Pele, um, in my opinion. So I want you to keep SF ballers. You've got to come on tomorrow. I never see you in the requests. In fact, you should request right now. Hang on. Let's see if I can figure this out. Hang 
Hang on. I'm trying to go live with them, but my keyboard is stuck in the way. To, ah, there. We'll see if I can do it. <laughs> Hello. Why don't you have a request? I don't know how to do it. It's confusing. Well, you've, there's like a button that you press at the <laughs> bottom. So, I'm and then you. I pressed it. How you doing? I'm good. How are you? Where's the other one? Well, at our house. <laughs> social, social distancing. Introduce yourself to everyone. Um, my name's Audrey. I'm from San Francisco. Me and my friend Hannah, who's also from San Francisco, run this account. Called? Um, SF Ballers. How do you spell that? S-F-B-A-L-R-S. SF Ballers. You, sh you should all follow them. So tell me, Audrey, what you've been doing in this quarantine season. Um, well, I wake up and then I go to school and then I go into my yard and I play. My team's been having like Zoom, like technical and like fitness things. So those have been pretty fun. And yeah, I use that, like my soccer training app. And whoop, whoop. you meant yeah. to say whoop whoop after that. <laughs> of course, yeah. Go on in. Um, no, I want to hear yeah. whoop whoop. Oh, sorry. Whoop whoop. <laughs> <laughs> um, Fantastic. So listen, will you will you come on tomorrow and do a player technical analysis for us? Sure. Hundred percent sure. Yeah, one hundred percent sure. Okay, who are you going to pick? Uh, probably Andy Robertson. Who? Left back for Liverpool. Yeah. Robertson. Who? who? <laughs> no, I'm kidding. <laughs> I, I, you know, it's painful to admit, but I quite like watching Liverpool play. Can't stand them, Thanks. but I quite like it. <laughs> You know, I'm, a, I'm just a bitter Arsenal fan. All right, Audrey, so tomorrow, Andy Robertson, you're going to do a complete technical analysis of him. Yeah. And sure. everybody needs to go and follow SF Ballers, right? Yeah, S -F -B -A -L -R -S. sure. Right, yeah. so I'll see you tomorrow. Okay. All right, cheers. Yeah. Okay, I just wanted to introduce you guys because those two are phenomenal. They put great stuff out there. They're just kind of... Um, they're kind of just vlogging their journey through Instagram and soccer. It's, it's awesome. Um, so I will see you guys tomorrow. You know tennis ball juggling. You've got to write that down. The little technical skill you've been trying to master. You're going to do, uh, you're going to write out your complete session. And if I pick you, you're going to tell us all about it and everything else I told you to do. Guys, I have to go, but I will talk to you guys tomorrow. 4 p.m. Pacific, 6 p.m. Central, 7 p.m. Eastern. Peace out.